Hey, what's up guys? I'm out in Western Montana and I'm doing some solo camping and I'm getting ready to unpack my stuff. And I realized I haven't done a packing video in a really long time. So now would be a really good time to lay everything out, show you guys what all I bring on the new bike. I found this awesome spot out here next to the river. So I'm gonna grab a beer. Why don't you do the same or your favorite cold beverage and let's get started. I'll show you what all I bring. All right, so from Boneyard, I've got an RPM IPA, one of my favorites out of Bend, Oregon. Also just love the logo, kind of a mechanic. So it's kind of mechanics beer, so, but anyway. So I'm gonna start by getting my chair out and then I'll also get the two tire changing mats that I carry. One I carry for changing tires and the other one I carry that I lay out and I stand on for when I need to change my clothes. That way I don't even get dirt all over my socks and whatnot. The two tire changing mats that I have are no longer available, but I will put links down below to something similar. And also links for all of the gear that I have will be in the links down below. A little shaken. Cheers. It's good beer. So the way I kind of lay my bike out is this pannier right here is gonna be all of my camping gear, my tent, my sleeping bag, my mat, my pillow, all of those things. This is mainly camera gear. And in this one, I put my clothes and anything miscellaneous that didn't fit in the quick grab pockets on the sides or in the camping pannier. Here, I keep all of my tools. So my tool roll, tire changing gear, and all that good stuff. This one is my chair. And here I have all of my kitchen stuff. So my jet boil, my anything to do with, uh, with, with cooking will be in this one. And in this one, I have my med kit. That way it's easy to get to. Inside of these little beaver tails, I keep a saw. I'll, I'll put my tripod in here and then I also carry an ax in here and I'll get all that stuff out here shortly. Now this is just your typical like, small packable camping chair. This one's by Sierra Madre. It's called the air chair. I've done a video on this before so you can check it out in the link. But this one has a footprint when you're on soft ground like sand on the beach or something. Now these are my two ground mats. Like I said, one of them, you can see it's a lot dirtier. Uh, this is the one I use for changing tires. And this is the one that I use for standing on when I'm changing my clothes. I'm gonna lay these out here so I can lay all my gear out and it doesn't get filthy. So next up, I'll just get all of my camping gear out. I always carry a puffy jacket these are nice because they pack down really small. Uh, sweatshirts are great, but they, they take up a lot of room. So puffy jackets, they're nice and warm. It's got like Thinsulaid or a synthetic down in it. And uh, they keep it nice and warm and they pack really nice. This is my Big Agnes Q Core Deluxe. This is uh, 30 by 78, so it's nice and wide and it's also long for you tall guys. I'm only 5'8", so it's, it's more than, than I need, but uh, I like the width of it. I have, have kind of wide shoulders, so it's nice to have uh, the extra room. This is an insulated air mattress, so it also helps for those really cold nights. Next up, no real order here, is the Gigapump 3.0. This is an air pump that attaches to any air mattress and blows it up. It also doubles as a night light. It's pretty handy. Next up, it's just something simple. It's a ground mat for my tent. And then, and here is my sleeping bag. I've always used sleeping bags, but last year I got the Zen Bibby and it is absolutely amazing. I really like this thing. Uh, I'm a side sleeper, so it's really nice for that. And it's good down to, to zero degrees, so you never get cold. But also, since it is kind of like a, a quilt, you can, when, you, when it is warm like tonight, where it's gonna be probably in the 50s, you can you know, un uncover and it's, it's, a, it's a great all around sleep system. I'll do a full video on this in the future. All right, now you guys are probably gonna make fun of me, but this is my pillow. I've used several small inflatable pillows in the past. And again, I'm a side sleeper, so it's nice to have, mosquitoes, uh, it's nice to have a thick pillow. This one is memory foam, and it also is inflatable on the inside so you can adjust how, how much or how little you need. Uh, it does take up some room, but I put it flat in my panniers and everything else goes around it. So it really doesn't take up all that much room when you think about it. It comes with a roller or it comes with a bag to put it in, but I'd rather not pack it like that. This is better. I will never go anywhere without this again because this is the best pillow I've ever used. I've done a full video on this in the past. 
This is a Big Agnes Tiger Wall bikepacking tent. It's only about 12 or 13 inches long. The poles are 12 inches, so it adds about another inch or so of bulk with the, with, uh, the tent being rolled up, but really lightweight. Check out that video if you're interested in this. This is by far the best tent I've ever used for moto camping. Last things out of that pannier are this Gerber hatchet. This is really nice for making kindling for firewood. And then uh, I have a headlamp. Just, uh, this is a Walmart special, I think. It was a Bushnell. It's pretty dang bright. It has uh, red, green, and also a white light. Red and green are nice for at night when you don't want a bunch of bugs. Also on that side is my tool roll. It's pretty packed in there, so I'm not gonna pull it all out right now, but just all the tools I need for this bike, tire changes, any of that kind of stuff can be done right here. Moving on to the other side, my Moscow Mono poop trail. You can figure out what this is for. And in this bag here, I've got all of my kitchen equipment. Some snacks, all of my, this is like my eating kit. So cup, uh, some baby wipes, fire starter, forks, all that good stuff. I have a collapsible bowl slash plate. When it's collapsed, it's a plate. When it's up, it's a bowl. I've got the MSR wind burner, which is really great for when it's windy. My extra long spork. This is a great length for when you're trying to dig out the bottom of the last bit of your freeze dried meals. And then finally, a Stanley flask. Med kit goes here. And then right here in the beaver tail, I've got my silky saw. This thing's great because when you come across a fallen tree on the trail, you can take care of it pretty easy. And it's also great for cutting firewood. Uh, you can really two hand this thing and get a lot of leverage, cuts wood really fast. Next thing I got is a waterproof bag. Uh, I had my cold beers in here and I say they were cold because I have some frozen uh, deer backstrap that kind of kept it cold. So good way to keep things cold is put your frozen meat in there. I also have some potatoes I'm gonna cook on the fire later, some foil, some butter, some seasoning, all that good stuff. Next up is my portable grill. There'll be a link to this below as well. I'm not gonna break it out yet, but it's uh, about an inch or so in diameter, about 12 inches long, folds out into an actual grill that you can put over the fire. And that's how I'm gonna cook my backstrap tonight. Toiletries, some freeze dried meals, Mountain House, Chili Mac, can't beat that. And then in the, in the morning, I have an egg scramble. Towel, Tinkara fly rod with some flies. Who knows what this is? It's a hand reel. So you take this off, hook your lure to this, throw it out, reel it in. It's not as, not as good as a fishing pole, but it's better than packing a fishing pole. So I've got the fly reel and I've got this and all of your lures are stored inside. This is made by K-Bar. Again, there'll be a link down below if you're interested in that. So in this Demata pouch, this is my shower kit. I have a clothesline in here as well, but this is a, I have a portable shower, all my, my soap, all that good stuff for when I want to take a shower. I'll probably jump in this river here later. And yes, it's gonna be freezing cold because that is straight snow runoff. The holy grail of water filters. This is the Grail water filter. This will purify 20 ounces of water in about eight seconds. Great for refilling your camelbacks or just drinking around the campfire. It does both bacteria and viruses. Awesome, awesome product. Last couple of things, I bring my iPad. I do this for mainly transferring files. The Pico Press, this is by Wakeko. It is a espresso machine for making actual espresso shots. Really good morning coffee right here. Comes in this nice little case. I just recently picked this up, so I'll do a full review on this in the future. Ground coffee. This is my table. This is made by Travel Bird. It's a Kickstarter. Uh, I'll, do a, a, I'll do a review on this here pretty soon. I, I like it, but I also have some nitpicks about it, and I'll show you those in the next video, but this is a pretty, this is a pretty cool table. Very compact, very lightweight. And I think it's like 14 by 14 when it's all said and done. So pretty nice little table. Last things will just be my clothes. Those are still on the bag, but I carry uh, a pair of Columbia zip off short pants, like pants that are also shorts, not short pants. Those would just be shorts. And then I carry one t-shirt, two socks, two underwear for a three day trip. So um, if it's gonna be a seven day trip, then I'll do three socks, three underwear, one or two pairs of pants and two t-shirts. And I can always wash 
and do laundry along the way. So that's pretty much it. This is what I pack. Forgot my beer. All of these things will keep me comfortable while I'm out here camping. Honestly, it's constantly changing. I never pack the same stuff twice, most things, but not everything. And I'm constantly moving things around, trying to find a better way. It's just kind of an endless cycle. You're, I'm constantly trying to find the best way to do things. So I hope this video helps you out on your next camping trip. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. If you haven't thought of some of the things that I pack, maybe you can pack next time. Guys, if you have any suggestions or anything else that I should be bringing or that maybe you bring that might be a good idea for me to bring, leave me some comments down below. Always looking, like I said, always wanting to change things up, always looking for the best way. If you're looking for all of these items being used, check out the video right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.